this is what we are creating today. And obviously, um, you're going to, you know, when you guys make yours, you're going to use your own grandkids or kids, however. Um, but this is just, I just thought it was just such an adorable project. Um, I created it with my Mod Podge and my Cricut, which I'm just getting used to using. So I had a lot of fun um, playing with this. But this is what we're going to be doing today. So let me show you guys how to make this. All right, I'm going to set my grandbabies over there for a minute. Okay. So to create this project, okay, now when I put my, um, when I put my sneak peek project or project picture up you guys saw saw different um because i had this piece of wood and i had some different things that i was planning on using well i realized after i had already posted it that i couldn't do it that way because i didn't have enough product to do to you know to demonstrate for you guys today so i had to think really really fast and come up with you know something different so I went to my Cricut and I created the stuff with that so what you're gonna need to do now you don't have to have a Cricut to create this this project at all guys so I don't want you to freak out and think you have to go out and spend money on a Cricut because you don't um, as I showed you you can do it with you know a piece of wood like this which is very simple um, you know any of your craft stores will have them and then also for the pictures, the circles for the pictures, you can also get um, wood or any, you know, wood, things like that in your craft stores also. So don't think that, you know, like I said, that you have to run out and buy a Cricut. Okay, so what you need now for this project, okay, is a couple pieces of pattern paper okay this one and then also I use this and then cardstock okay and then for my base what I used is I used a mat board okay so this is just a nice big you know nice sturdy mat board that I used and then I also used it to create the circles okay so very very simple and then of course to put it all together I used my I don't want to tip it because I just opened it but I used my Mod Podge so very fun stuff but it's gonna be a little bit wet and crazy here in just a minute so let me show you guys really quick and then also before we do this let me finish showing you for the words that I did okay I also used um, my Cricut sorry and I used a pink cardstock and a black to do all of my wording, okay? With an exception of my grandson's name, which I did his in red because I did the girls in pink. So I did his in red. Um, so to get started, what you're going to do, this is going to be for your backing, you know, just so you can cover your back, okay? But what we're going to do here is we are going to play with some Mod Podge. All right, now, when you're working with this, you know, make sure that you have lots of paper towels and stuff handy so you can wipe things up or whatever if you need to. Let me get my mouse out of the way here. I'll be decoupaging my mouse next. Okay, so it's very, very easy to use. Um, and Besides drying, it really doesn't take that long, and it doesn't really take that long to dry, um, but it is a really quick and easy project. So what you're gonna do with the Mod Podge, okay, so first of all, what I wanna do is I wanna give it, where's my little stirrer? Here it is, okay. I wanna give it a good stir, okay, just to make sure that, you know, it's all nice and consistent, and you wanna, you know, want to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be when you put it on <laughs> all right 
You just want to make sure that you just mix it up really well, guys, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so we're going to set that off to this. Well, you know what? I'm going to put it over here. Okay. So, as I said, so for Mod Podge, what you're going to use is a type of brush, okay? This is a brush that um, they made specifically for the Mod Podge, which I think is absolutely adorable. But what I also love is because they came out, Plaid came out, um, I think, I don't even remember when this came out, maybe a couple years ago, um, this roller, and it also has a squeegee on it too, which I love. Because when you're working with Mod Podge, you do sometimes get bubbles, and you want to make sure that you get those all whoop, wiped out, okay? All right, so what you're going to do to get started is you're going to cover your base, okay? So we're just going to put some Mod Podge. And you want to, you know, you don't want to... Um, you don't want to be chintzy on this. You want to make sure that you get, you know, you get it covered fairly well. So this right now, this first layer here is going to adhere your paper, your pattern paper to the base here. So we're going to lay that down. And because I'm using really thin pattern paper, I did not do the back of the pattern paper also. A lot of times if you're using a thicker material, you want to put the Mod Podge on the front and the back of the material that you're using, okay? This is really, really thin, so I didn't really need to do that. So we're gonna squeeze this out, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a layer on the top. All right, so we're just gonna put a layer on this and of course I'm doing this quickly um, you know because we're you know because we're live and I you know we don't want to be here all day I mean I would love to be here all day crafting with you guys but I know everybody has other things they want to do <laughs> so you just want to and it dries uh, relatively quick so you want to make sure that you get some good coating on there just like that whoops okay just like that and as i said because i'm using a thin paper you don't need to put a whole whole lot you just want to make sure that you get a nice good coating on there all right so once that's done you're going to set that aside and you're going to let that dry okay so i'm going to put this over here for now all right and then the next step that we're going to do, we're going to do the same exact thing with the circles for the pictures. Okay, so we're going to put some Mod Podge right here on these circles and lay them on, lay the pattern paper on top. And if you're wondering, um, these, I believe, you guys, are three and a half, I want to say three and a half inches. Yes. Three and a half inch circles, okay? And I believe this is uh, ten and a half. All right, so we're going to do this with all three of your circles now if you're like Anne and you have a whole bunch of grandbabies because Anne has 14 so <laughs> you know obviously you couldn't do all of them this way but what you could do if you have more than three is you could put the pictures down this way okay when you put it together you could do your uh, pictures down this way and do them in rows that way if you need to or you can use a bigger you know a bigger um, base all right so I want to make sure that I get this on all of these okay here we go that's the last one okay so then we're gonna add that on there and then I'm gonna go back again I want to give it a nice good squeegee here make sure that that paper really adheres to your uh, mat board all right 
And then we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the base and we're going to add a layer on top of each, okay? So then once you have your layers on all three of your circles, okay, then what you would do, let me just finish this one up really quick, okay? And as you can see, um, I've gotten pretty lucky so far. It's not really bubbling, my paper's not bubbling. So, you know, um, it takes some practice to know how much to actually use. But once you start using decoupage, it's really, really easy. You just gotta play with it. All right, so once you have all of your circles covered, then the next thing that you would do is layer your photos, okay? So you're gonna put your photos on top, just like that, and then you're going to put another layer of decoupage on, okay? And then, you're going to put their names, okay? So like we have, I have Bella, Zoe, and Isaiah. Okay, so what you would do then is you would take these and I backed them with the black cardstock and you're gonna lay that down and then you're gonna put another layer on top. So once you've done that with all three, you've got your pictures and you've got your kids' near your grandkids' names on there really good. Then you just want to put them aside a little bit to let them dry. Okay, so I'm going to do that over here. i set these aside. Okay, now this is still wet. Your base, but... That's all right because, you know, we I don't have time to let it dry and, you know, and all that. So we're just going to deal with it with it wet. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do when you come back to your base is I took the wording that I did, which I put love is my, my grandkids, and then I did it in the black and pink cardstock, okay? So what I did then, when I did the two different colors, then I just adhered the pink to the black. And that just makes the, um, the letters stand out more. So what you're gonna do then, once you've done that, and I left this last one just to show you real quick how I did it. Grab my mic here, all right. So you just lay that down, lay your black piece down. And then I just took a little bit of blue And then on the back side of the pink, I just added just a tiny bit of glue. Oh, my glue is not, all right. We've got a little bit of a clog, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna put just a little bit. Okay. There we go. And then you're just gonna put it on top of the black piece but you're gonna put it put it a little offset so it looks like you've got a shadow all right so that's how simple it is to do your words okay that's all I did and then once I had my words all done then again I went back to my base and I laid my words down and on these I put just a little bit because I let it dry a little, just a little bit on the back here, just so I can get it to adhere on each piece. Right there, this one, okay. All right, and then you wanna make sure that you know you line it up nice and pretty and all of that. Make sure it looks really good. I noticed when I did mine, I was so tired when I finished it. Um, I noticed that my my wording was a little bit crooked there and I was like, oh no! But I know you guys don't know this, but I ha I'm right now I am gutting my studio. So I'm telling you, I have stuff everywhere. And of course I can't find what I'm looking for half the time because it's it's all over the place 
my living room looks like um, a war zone. Okay, and then because grandkids is a larger word, then I just put it down, lay it down. Okay, get it on there, make sure it's gonna stick. Okay, and then again, you're gonna go back with your Mod Podge and you're gonna lay down another layer. Okay, and you're gonna cover all of this. And don't worry about how it looks right now because it's gonna dry clear. So you're not going to see, you know, these white globs or whatever that are in the, the lettering. You're not gonna see any of that because it's gonna dry. Okay, so we're gonna just add that last little bit on there. All right, make sure we get all of it. There we go. Okay. And then, there you go. And then you're done with this part. Okay, so to finish it off, because now you're done with your Mod Podging. Okay, so to finish it off, let me set this to the side. Then what you're going to do, I'm gonna bring the, my project back over and show you. Okay, so to finish it off, as I said, it's really, really, um, it's a quick project. Okay, so there we go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to punch holes in the tops of all three of your circles. And um, then you're gonna add your, uh, not brads, your eyelets, okay? I've got little miniature uh, silver eyelets in there. This is probably an eighth, the eighth of an inch because they're the smaller ones. Okay, so you're gonna add those on that and then you're also going to add three up here on your base and then two at the very top and then add some ribbon to hang your photos off of and ribbon for your hanger. And then all I did to finish it off was I just added a couple heart stickers and, and that's it. And then once I was done, once this was done, before I put it all together, what I did was I went ahead and I covered my back. And I did not decoupage my back. I just glued the red cardstock to the back. I didn't decoupage it, I just glued it on. Um, but as you can see, it's just a really simple, quick project. Um, but it's fun to do. And you know, if you decide to do this and you wanna do it with your grandkids, they would have an absolute blast. Just make sure, like I said, that you have lots of paper towels on hand because if you're gonna do it with kids, there's gonna be Mod Podge everywhere. So, <laughs> so be careful with that. But there it is, you guys. That is the, the very simple project that I did for today. And quick and easy, right? All right. Okay, so let me hang on one second and let me switch cameras here. There we go. Okay, now see, didn't I tell you that, you know, it was gonna be a quick and easy project? <laughs> it was. Um, okay, so just let me take a good look and see about comments in here. Okay. Let's see. So, okay. And put all the information in about the giveaway. So make sure that you enter the giveaway, you guys. They're doing two $50 product packages. So you want to make sure that you get in on that for sure. Okay. Make sure that you hashtag Bella Crafts. Okay. So let's see. Oh, hi, Maria. And hi, Beverly. Hi guys, I haven't seen you in a while. Maria, you definitely need to make one of this for your grandson because he is absolutely adorable. And <laughs> and you could even use, because you have him, you could even use a bigger, um, a bigger circle and use a bigger picture, you know? So yeah, that would be awesome. And if you do do one, Maria, let me know. I would love to see it, okay? Um, let's see, Rebecca, thank you. That is a great way to use it, my eyelids. I know I have a whole lot of them. Okay, thank you, Beverly, for loving my project. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, 
Oh, and Shauna's here. Hi, Shauna. All right, and there's Miss Beth. <laughs> My good friend, Miss Beth. All right, you guys, so that is it for me today. Um, like I said, quick and easy project. Bam, it's done, and what a cute little hanging. Mine is going to go since I'm gutting my studio, and I now have wall space that I can actually see. Mine is going to go right in front of my work table so I can see my grandbabies every single day. That's what I'm going to do with mine. <laughs> so if you guys make it and you belong to our Do You Love to Craft group, share it in there. I would love to see it. I would love to see what you guys are doing. And if you don't, you know, belong to the group yet, join. We would love to have you. Love to have you. So, okay, so that's it for me. It is now 1030. So Anna's going to be doing her project in about an hour and a half. So make sure that you do not miss that. Um... And until then, oh, I have to announce last week's winner. That's right. I almost forgot. Okay, so last week's winner, um, we did Fairfield World, which um, Ann and I did pillows. Or Ann, I'm sorry, Ann did a pin cushion um, with the polyfill, and then I did the velvet stamped pillow. Okay, so um, Fairfield World is was giving away two big bags of their polyfill to the winner. And I want to say, this is a perfect example. This winner is a perfect example of why you want to continue to hashtag, you know, and share and, and do all that. Because I think this is like the third time that she has won. So, um, but the winner from last week from Fairfield is Maria Sheehan. Okay, so Maria, um, I don't see you in here now, but I know that you're in the Do You Love to Craft group, so I'll be in contact with you, but you are the winner uh, from last week. And as I said, this is like Maria's like third time from winning, but she's really great about sharing, you know, um, sharing our videos and stuff. And so she gets to win a lot. <laughs> so we want you guys to be doing the same. We would love that. All right, everybody. That's it for me. I hope you all have an awesome week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And don't forget to take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. It really, it really is. All right, everybody. Take care, and I will see you all next week. All right. Bye, everybody.